Hello everybody and uh, welcome to the uh, CCL round of 32 Chalice Playoffs. We have got Key Fury, <laughs> also known as Past Tense K Fog or Primetime Kevin. And uh, he has got 2k Dark Elves, started with a removal, lovely. Up against Lethandia, who uh, has got 2k Wood Elves. He's got two babes, he does not have a wizard, so... Um, K-Fog did have the uh, wizard stadium, but he got rid of it here, because the reason he had the stadium was he was high TVs than most opponents, and they were going to get a wizard anyway. Once um, Lathandia wasn't going to get a wizard, he didn't want to give him a wizard for free, seeing as he has an agility 5 war answer, which makes total sense. Two mighty bow on K Fog's team here. Three guard. Oh, double skulls. And you know, it's, it's, he's got an edge 5, he's got loads of blodge step, loads of blodge. It's a nice team, isn't it? Um, very nice team. I don't know how it survived to this point. This is definitely uh, a team that could win the whole thing for sure. Probably a lot of people's favourite to win is PTK's team. I mean, it helps that it's PTK as well, right? I don't know who Lethandia is. TBH. Um, but it's safe to say that he's not as good as PTK. Seeing as PTK is one of the best. <laughs> um... But yeah, his team's really nice as well. He's got this movement 9. Obviously sprint. But also sure feet. Sidestep. So it just needs one push to get him in range. That's a scary one-turner. Um, how much sidestep does K-Fog have? Three. Only three. No, only three sidestep for K-Fog. So he's got a mighty blow tackler. I think he should be targeting the sidestep as every every chance he gets. Of course, it's risky because they can sidestep and then surf you and stuff, so you've got to be wary of that. But I think every chance he gets, he should be trying to hit the sidesteppers. Like, reasonable chance. Because you really want him to not have three sidestep in the LS. So that's it, this is the game. <laughs> yeah, no, well, I don't know, Catherine, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you weren't diced, were you? It was, uh, it was just a game. I don't think anything crazy happened. Gets the removal. <laughs> you weren't like, uh... You <laughs> you weren't like Varkson and his uh, pro elves. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, the movement the movement matters, doesn't it? Like, that's the, that's the big thing, isn't it? Movement six to movement seven is pretty huge. Yeah, pro elves. What did I say? Yeah, Varkson's Pro Elves, he, that was just horrific for him. That was an absolute Dyson. Absolute Dyson. Oh, Pro Elf, yeah! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> yes, yeah, that was, that was, the one turn was really cruel. Like, obviously, I was a bit unlucky to, to, that you had the chance at it. But then, maybe I should have ran back. But yeah, the fact that it was what double skulls on the block, then a one for the bloodlust, then a one for the one for the intercept, and then a one for the pass. Like it was crazy how many ones there were. Oof! There's another removal. So they're both making removals permanent there for our PTK. PTK going for the blockless guys. Um. Lethandia got a uh, Logic Arder out. Yeah, I guess four, 4 to 5 or 5 to 5. Yeah, I guess 4 to 5. I guess 4 to 5, yeah. 
<laughs> 10 to 11. You can't do that, though. <laughs> yeah, I guess 4 to 5. Because 3 to 4 is huge for being able to stand up and move one, isn't it? Uh, like, if you get pushed back and piled. 1 to 2 doesn't matter anyway, because you still need a 4 plus to stand up. 2 to 3 is obviously massive. Uh, which this tree has, which is rather good. The tree is pretty bad against other elves, to be fair. But he's still, like, anchoring the side, isn't he? Might have been an idea to blitz that guy into the tree. He would have been able to three guys in the Might have got him. Um... And then obviously five to six is pretty massive, isn't it? Six to seven is obviously huge, and as are the rest of them. So yeah, it's got to be four to five or five to six. Random, random aside. But even then, having plus more movement on like everybody is big. And I know they get like, you know, five or six positionals that'll move seven. But then obviously the wood elves get five or six that'll move eight, don't they? So. They, they like they do get everyone's got plus movement so it's uh it is it is a big deal like they they're just better at elfing aren't they wood elves and high elves and pro elves are all better better at elfing than dark elves are better at are better than <laughs> yeah I mean, that's the thing they 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 just stay better at elfing don't they like, the better elfing. I've said the same thing 17 times in a row. <laughs> Double strip. Oh, it's fair enough, isn't it? One could get missed next or whatever. And they, they, they're not lacking for skills. So. Yeah. Hello, Baza Casting. Uh, yeah, like, high elves. You know, obviously, if you're on fumble and you're, you're getting to... Sage your way to a 3000 TV team, then uh, high elves are going to be pretty, pretty monstrous. But um, not super likely for that to happen. <laughs> Kev has a high elf team that's played 1500 games on Fumble. <laughs> Tags him from the other side. Maybe it isn't even 1,500, maybe it's 2,500. He's definitely, I think he's played more games on that one team than I've played on Fumble. <laughs> Which is crazy in itself. He's played a lot, or, or, like, or about the same as me. He's either played more on, or I don't know, I'm going to look it up. <laughs> I'm going to look it up. PTK. Yeah, it is only about 1,500. <laughs> what a noob. 1,535 games. <laughs> PTK, the beginner. Whereas I've played 1798 on Fumble, so he hasn't played <laughs> more games total. <laughs> uh, it's probably ranked, to be fair. It's an old team, so it's probably ranked. Almost certainly ranked. Yeah, I haven't played that many games on Fumble. I've probably played more games on Blood Bowl 2 now. Yeah, probably played more games on Blood Bowl 2. Crazy, eh? <laughs> I don't know, Pablo, I'm an idiot. That's why. Yeah, I will have played more games on Blood Bowl 2. Yeah, I think so, Dimmy, yeah. Yeah, like obviously I pretty much stopped playing Fumble when I started playing Blood Bowl 2.
So I, I don't know if uh, Lathandia was trying to bait him last turn with that like gap in the screen. I've played uh, what's he called? Purple goo. Oh, th this is really cool. I was wondering why I couldn't hear anything. Is that, does that sound okay to you guys? Um, right. <laughs> Win rate is, is... Well, it's not meaningless, is it? It's <laughs> mostly meaningless is a better way to put it. Um... I'm surprised that he's kept the... Uh, I would have wanted to swap the uh, dodger with the blodger, but maybe he's like hoping to use him as a secondary scoring threat sometime. He nails the sidestepper. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Shots fired. Wow, that's crazy calcium. <laughs> Is Skuro around or not? I was going to say something, but I've forgotten what it was. Oh, yeah, it was like high TV, yeah. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? I guess that's what it is. I guess the fact that the elves are elf, wood elves, and pro elves, and high elves, or the fact they're all elfier than dark elves, really matters at high TV. Maybe. Like, Dells are solid, aren't they? But they're just... They're not very exciting. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Do you stick in a rear all there? I'd be half tempted with it being armor 7, but he doesn't and he's fine. Also, there could be a surf here, couldn't there? We could potentially surf this lineman. Probably not now. He's blocked his path. He would have wanted the guard in there, wouldn't he? And then pal not follow. And then come in. Oh yeah, baiting him, yeah, he bait, yeah, so regarding the game, <laughs> Lathandia may have baited him, because he had like a screen, and then he had like a gap in the screen, and that, uh, uh, Purple Goo loves doing that, I've, I've played Purple Goo a few times, and he, he often does that, where he like let you get into like a really, like, you know, he let you through, but when you get through, you're gonna to have to make loads of GFIs to make a safe cage, or it's gonna be exposed and like you know cut your team in half or whatever. So Purple Goo really loves that that bait move. So I wonder if I wonder if that was on purpose or not. It could have been. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Eric behind me. They're already one of the best teams in the game. So yeah, <laughs> PK going full anti anti strip. Uh, well, not anti strip, anti leap cage. 
Then actually abandoning in it, abandoning it and making it not full. Now you could literally leap in for a 1D here. That's weird, isn't it? <laughs> Feels glorious. <laughs> Runners are okay in uh, in res. Yeah. I mean, it's hard for any defense to hold against elves, isn't it? Like, no matter what screens you make, they can two plus through and that, especially when they've got edge guys and stuff. So he's probably is better off trying to hit it. He can he can hit it here though. I'm surprised that PTK didn't. Uh, like you know, move the guard, move the guard out. I didn't move the witch elf up here. Like he's left the one D on. He's definitely left this one D on. Except he hasn't put that guy in to stop it. And it would have been an amazing push direction as well. Like okay, he needed a five plus. 3 plus 5 plus, but he totally could have done I wouldn't have hated going in for it. He's going to run all the way around the back to hit the Witcher. I don't like not committing to that and having two players on the wrong side of the ball. That feels like a gaping hole, doesn't it? I mean, it is a gaping hole. He can just put his whole team through here easily. And now he can go through here easily. So now he's got the got this guy to here. Maybe he doesn't need to go there. But he's got three rerolls. He could reroll it. But then what if he double ones? But he can blitz this guy. He can hit him as well a second time. And Rackle blitz him here. Hello. How we doing, Jim? Gives, he just like he opened a massive gaping hole in his defense for like nothing. A two D on the uh, on the witch. That was not good. Not good from Lathandia. Like he could have he could have done that for a one D on the ball. I don't think Jim can hear Skuro. me. Though. Oh, can I not hear him? But you can. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Oh, it's, it's my fucking thing isn't plugged in properly. Could everyone else hear you? <laughs> I didn't know if anyone could hear me or not, so I didn't say too much, but uh, Tom clearly could hear me. <laughs> wow. I just, it's Good. just, the, the thing, I put, I put my headphones and everything so I'd be able to hear you, and then it just, uh, well, fair just, didn't, well, just didn't work. We're good to go now. I'm just tuning in. How's this game going for K-Fog? K-Fog's just got an amazing opportunity. Uh, Lathandia was holding quite firm, standing firm, just like an <laughs> every Sunday. Uh, no, not every Friday, and some no. Sundays. <laughs> oh, dear. One Sunday. <laughs> um, and then he put two guys on the wrong side of the ball just to punch a witch elf, which seemed suicidal. He could have hit the ball. He could have, like, leapt and one would the ball. Mm -hmm. it, and like that would have been really risky and probably you know didn't want to do it but at least there would have been huge payoff whereas instead he essentially um gave up the offense gave up the defense for nothing so that wasn't uh, i don't see, i don't see a witch elf in the cast box so i guess it didn't <laughs> work out for him at all did it no no he just knocked her over <laughs> <laughs> oh dear well that's good she's only got jump up yeah, yeah, exactly. Knocked over a jumbo player, so... And now PTK's got guard on both corners. I think that was a... That's the thing, it was a good opportunity to go for the 1D, because it was one of the only chances he ever had to go for the 1D last turn. Um, so he really could have gone for the 1D, if he was going to go for it at all, was last turn. But instead he just let PTK cage and screen for the whole team. Big misstep from Lethandia there. No, oh, Marzen, don't don't wind him up. Oh, he, he won't wind me up because that's just fucking foolish if he believes that. He doesn't believe that either. But Cam was incredible last night. It sucks that they couldn't get the win, but that was a fucking awesome game. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was it was all down to Lathandia, wasn't it? Really, he left this gaping hole. 
or just to make that hit, it was that was poor. I felt a lot better about the way Cam was throwing the ball last night than I have about Tom Brady throwing the ball in the last two years. I'll say that. Really? Wow. Oh, man, he was fucking firing it. Probably too hard at some point. <laughs> yeah, he had a touchdown go right through Edelman's fingers. But, uh... No, no. no. And he really wants to take out that guy. I like that reroll because obviously, first of all, he's got the rerolls anyway. But second of all, I would have I would have liked the greeting it earlier in the half, to be honest, because PTK's got three blood steppers, and if you put them on the LOS, it's going to be really hard for this one turn at the score, isn't it? It's weird to see uh, Wood Elves with those two war dancers completely abandoning their defense here. Yeah, he's just not even trying to stop them. Yeah, well, it was kind of like last turn. Kind of lost it for him, really. He, he did goof a bit. He done goofed a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens when you throw the ball and it's properly inflated. Oh, uh, dear. dear. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I don't think that's uh, incredibly true, but whatever. Uh, and Marzum, uh, well, I don't know about that. I, I think they wouldn't have called a uh, shotgun run play for Tom Brady, <laughs> no. But I, 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 you, I don't like that play call. I think there was a better. I think there was a better way for for Cam to have a chance to run that in. But uh, fullback got completely blown up. Play never had a chance because they knew it was coming. It was. Um, you know, it was it was the exact opposite of the interception the Pats had on the on the Seahawks in the Super Bowl, where they just <laughs> knew they weren't going to run it to Marshawn Lynch, and they should have just ran it right up the gut with Marshawn Lynch and said he threw that slant that got picked. They oh, just God, knew yeah. that Cam was going to run to the left there, and they completely shut it down. It was a bad play call. No, I, I agree. I totally agree, Eric. Totally agree. Anyway, I don't want to take away from K Fog's game here because I showed up and Mars have started trolling me. Yep. It looks like he's gonna surf this Lino, isn't it? I think. I think you definitely surf that Lino. It's kind of pointless, but it's also kind of risk free. Yeah. So you might as and, well. Uh, I assume there wasn't much of a bench going on for the Wood Elves, just that one turner. Yeah, whereas PTK's got two guys on the bench. Yeah. And yeah, there's no guard on the woodies, is there? That's the biggest thing. Like, apart from his one turner, is his only guard, so this the guard cage corner is going to make it an uphill and make him pretty safe. Interesting going for that block. What's he doing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't how to surf that lineman. No, I guess he's going to blitz somebody else. Yeah, he wants the mighty blow four. hit on the strength four. Yeah. No. Well, don't know how to take... surf that lineman. <laughs> yeah, I think I would have taken the surf on the line out to be honest, and then yeah. just hit him without mighty blow. I don't think it was really worth. It. Like he hasn't got he hasn't got dodge. Like if he had dodge, fair enough, because he hit him with tackle yeah. as well. But I think that wasn't really worth it. Yeah, I feel like he could have just blitzed with the witch to surf, and then got the free hit on the base with the base uh, blodger there that was against them. Yeah. Well, yeah, you're right. It wouldn't have been with mighty blow, but yeah, I don't really care about that. Yeah, auto injuring the <laughs> auto injuring the line. I guess this is kind of safe, right? Because if you put if you power him on that, then you get like more, don't you? Whereas if you push him. Like, you only surf them if you get the pushes. Like, do, 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 do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So now I think it would be pretty pointless for uh, Lathandir to, to make a make a miracle, <laughs> a miracle cage dive. Yeah. It doesn't seem very, it doesn't seem very worth it in this case. He would need a, a god tier scatter, wouldn't he? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's better off. Maybe now, now, maybe now's a good time to hit that witch and call it a day. And uh, hope you hope your one turn uh, carries you into yeah. the second half tide. Yeah, and he can hit him with mighty blow this time. He does get to hit the witch off with mighty blow. The alternate is just leap in one d, and if you get the uphill pow, then um, then you know he could get like god scatter, couldn't he? It's possible. Hey. 
he is hitting the witch elf. Oh, he gets he's the got her. <laughs> yeah. Does the apple come out yet? Nah, not in a badly hurt. He's got the men, hasn't yeah. he? Yep, fair enough. <laughs> it's finally over. <laughs> I don't even know what I did. <laughs> I might have gone like 1-1-2 one, one, or something. <laughs> I think it depends. I think, I think PTK thinks he's going to win. For a start. <laughs> right? I think he thinks he's going to win. And it's not a perm. So, it's got the reserves. I mean, that is one of his two tacklers. Which is pretty brutal. <laughs> yeah, I do, I do think uh, calcium, there are problems with... Uh, with... Um... What's that game called? Blood Bowl. Um, <laughs> Swiss with Swiss in uh, in thing. So he can two D the strength four. He can three D the defenseless. I guess he three Ds the defenseless because he's PTK and he's sensible. <laughs> my biggest my biggest complaint about Swiss is that too many people give up after their first game, and rightfully so. Like it's just yeah. like you look at the format and you're like, well, this is pointless if I don't win my first game. So. Yeah, yeah, it makes total sense for people playing in real life, but playing online, you're just going to want this up. Well, there you go. Good shout from PDK. The 2D would have been a push a both down and a skull, and then he might have wanted to re-roll it, but wouldn't have done. So this was the best idea, and it was an extra punching as well, wasn't it? Yeah, it's fu funny enough, it's Tom Schnizzer's uh, logo, isn't it? The uh, Judge Death logo. Right, so will PTK put the blood steps on the line? I guess he has to, doesn't he? It's too easy if he doesn't. Yeah. Absolutely. Scary, but uh, you have to. Yeah, very scary with a three dice mighty blow from the tree and two dice mighty blow tackle with him. This is pretty much uh, not nice. Yeah, I think two minutes would have been too short for like the tabletop crowd. I think there would have been a lot of a lot more vocal complaints <laughs> from the tabletop crowd than there would be from the digital crowd. I think I think three minutes is quite reasonable. There isn't no for food. To be honest, I don't really ever notice a difference between two and three minute turns the way it all plays out. No, when people use it, it's annoying, but... I mean, there's not a lot of things between one minute and two minute and three minute if you play fast, is there? Right. That's the thing, is it takes me 30 seconds a turn no matter what I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Oh, he's got grab! He's got grab so he could tree blitz it. And he's movement three as well, so he can two plus leap. And then hit him back. I think... Um, PTK should have probably had his guys one square forward. Right? Right? Still be a pretty impressive one turn if you can pull it off. It wouldn't be terrible. <laughs> Not terrible. I guess he's got guard there so that he can't get three dice on it. Is that something? But he, he still could though get three dice actually. <laughs> he still could get three dice. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, he just he'd have, he would still get three dice. 
So, no, it's neither this looks bad from PTK. I think it's a bad sell, but I forgot about the grab. I don't know if PTK did. He shouldn't have done, should he? But it looks like he did. Yeah, I think so. I mean, because, yeah, if that's the case, if you... I mean, it's still harder, but, like, if that's the case, maybe don't risk the sidesteppers on the line. Yeah, like, that's the thing. You've got to put them one up. You've got to put them one further down. Um, I don't think it matters, does it? Which way? This way you get to kill him. Which is better. <laughs> this way you get to kill this guy. Because you can take the power, can't you? But I mean, this is this is no defense at all, is it? This is a leap, and then a three di three dice tree man blitz, and that's it. That's too easy. I mean, he definitely should have had his guys one square forward. There is the leap. Oui, oui, oui. Here's the power. Is he thinking about re-rolling this? I think he's thinking about taking the push. Because then he could, uh... He could sidestep. Yeah. And then he can fill in that square and then he can get... Yeah, he can, yeah, he can get another... He can get another push out of it. But PDK probably had um, dodge on optional. Yes, he did. So he chose to get knocked over anyway. Yeah. Yeah. He probably should have had the tackler there. Seeing as he, he wanted to hit this guy. <laughs> he wants to hit this guy and not get sidestepped to here, I guess, right? So he probably should have had the tackler there. Because he didn't need to tackle him, he just needed to block that off and then push him the other way if he got the push. Now then he gives a good card and he could have had him as well. Oh. So yeah, that's not ideal. Down, that's not ideal. Yeah. He probably shouldn't have blocked him, right? He probably shouldn't have blocked him. Yeah, yeah he was hoping for the uh, for a minimum the wrestle there. And he's made it yeah, a bit four. harder. Yep, that would have been a 3-3. Three, three. Three two, and now he's made it a four four three two. Yeah, he probably should have done that. He's got a GFI here, or I'll, pa I'll pass it to somebody else. Pass it to somebody else. Pass it to this guy. No, he's not a catcher. Whoa! You should have passed it. There's no pass block, is there? I don't know. It's all right. <laughs> What's happening now? <laughs> all right. Well, here we go. Four, four, three, two. Easy. Yeah, he really shouldn't have made that hit, especially if he was going to do the GFIs. I mean, it's four, four, three, two, 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 two. Is it? Oh, it's very sunny. Oh, it's very sunny. Alright. Oh, he made the fours. Right. Made everything there, and oh no, he snakes the jerky! <laughs> oh dear. Kfo's getting off uh, easy there, I think. <laughs> yeah, that was a big mistake. Oh I dear. Mean, big mistake, I think, from PTK not putting them one square yeah. four further forward. Yeah. He's exhaling a little bit on that one. Yeah. Oof. I mean, he was lucky to, to not have to use a team reroll to get through with those dodges. Like, obviously making them was still pretty likely, but you would have expected him to have popped dodge or use it, even use a team reroll getting through, wouldn't you? Yeah, I never noticed Sonny, to be fair. Well, not never, but often I don't notice it. <laughs> Oh, 
what was the time we can samba this you have dodge and sure feet and it was four four three two and three gfis he was still after all that he was only 41 percent the score there's a lot of twos to have to roll at the end there. Yeah. I, uh, I, I think we're going to be a little late with Claw tonight, Jim. Oh, God, yeah, we are. <laughs> Is that okay? <laughs> it's fine by me. Glorious. If he hadn't messed it up, he would have been 59.7, so it was actually pretty huge making those Dodgers four pluses. But then maybe he had to, right? Now that, now that I think about the, the pass, I was planning on a two-plus pass. But now that now that it's revealed to have been uh, very sunny, maybe he had he had to make that block to do the handoff, or maybe he should have handed off first before. He definitely should have handed off first before, right? When, when he was on the LOS in the in the type of zone, he should have handed off then. So he should have just done the handoff first, and then it would have been one less GFI, and he wouldn't have had to make that block. Yeah, Blood Bowl 3 has been announced. The release date is, well, the, the projected release is early 2021. Uh, what they did release an official title for the game, though. It's called Blood Bowl 2 Reskinned Edition. <laughs> yep. He's got to, uh, there's some Kekwiti for uh, KFO. <laughs> He's got to pull himself together now, hasn't he, Lathandia there? That was uh, obviously tragic to roll the dub, sc the dub skulls, not dub skulls, the double ones, the snakes. But he's got to, uh... Ooh, boy. <sighs> maybe have not re-rolled that, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean... He's probably playing for overtime at this point. You don't really want to give Kefo a chance to score, especially after kind of proving he was not super aggressive on defense the first go. Yeah, I think I think that one he should have eaten. He should have made it safe and eaten that double score. But again, so maybe he is a little bit tilted after that. Pretty much C Shark. What they'll do is they'll release the uh, Blood Bowl 3 Legendary Edition so that idiots yeah. like me can accidentally <laughs> rebuy the Blood Bowl 2 Legendary Edition uh, in the pre order phase so they don't check it for two months and then can't return it to Steam. <laughs> <laughs> I did that. I bought I bought the Blood Bowl One Legendary Edition when they when they started taking pre orders for it, oh. and didn't notice for three months. And then even though I didn't even have one minute of game time played, when I explained the situation, Steam was like, "Nah." You're done. <laughs> Blood Bowl Three Dwarven Overlords. <laughs> yeah. That's what makes it even worse, Kissadin. Though they just use the FIFA model, but the but it's only every five years that it gets the the the, the refresh that doesn't even really change the graphics. <laughs> Until I see actual gameplay footage, I am going to remain convinced that the graphics for Blood Bowl Three look far inferior to Blood Bowl Two. Yeah, it's it's weird, isn't it? The, the stadiums. I don't like the like filters and that on them on the. Yeah, I mean it's probably earlier. They probably they probably shat that video out <laughs> with an early production or whatever. But like, yeah. it did not look very good to me. I, I thought the cinematic of the video was okay, but like, it didn't look very good. It looked like worse, like worse <laughs> than Blood Bowl Two to me. Maybe it's just because it was different, but it didn't feel very good. Yeah, and I can say that knowing I just I'm gonna buy it the second it comes out anyway. Like we all are. Yeah, We're stupid. <laughs> but. <laughs> yeah, totally getting it instantly. <laughs> Can still bitch about it. <laughs> so PTK going for that strength four boy again. Oof. Yeah, Billy. Yep, him. absolutely. 
But even art style aside, it just felt like the rendering was worse. Like, it felt like the graphics were inferior to this, but... I don't know. Maybe I'm being a bit harsh on that one. Maybe. Probably not, Eric, no. I'm a bit surprised he went for him. I thought he might have gone for the catcher there in 3D. We'll have to bring those two guys in. But uh, he doesn't. Oh, did the apple not even work? Oh no, it worked, but um, yeah, he's still off until overtime. <laughs> Indeed, Sea Shark. Yeah, it's a weird, it's a weird premise, isn't it? Blood Bowl in the in the days of computer games, <laughs> like <laughs> when it was a board game. In board game land, it was all right, wasn't it? <laughs> but yeah. when you're making a computer game of a board game, when computer games, like actual computer games, exist, a computer game of a board game just seems a bit shit, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't just blitz blitz over here with his dancer, and because he could have blitz, he could have not followed with this guy. I don't really like the follow. He could have just not followed with him, and then uh, blitz this guy, and then blocked that guy, and been free. But he gets a removal. <laughs> you were a gym. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a shame when they go like not not real, uh, not actual gameplay and stuff like that. And you're like, well, this is going to be shit then, isn't it? You just know it's going to be shit when they say it. <laughs> what, what the fuck store were you in that you saw... <laughs> A Blood Bowl 2 game <laughs> to purchase. <laughs> or do you mean like the Steam store? <laughs> yeah, Battle Chess. I remember when Battle Chess came out and I okay, thought, wow, this looks cool. awesome. Yeah, me too. I used to love the concept of that. And then shortly after that, I discovered Warhammer and was like, this is what I've always wanted <laughs> out of like a, out of like a, 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 a game experience. And, uh, I was very happy for a while until I started playing Blood Bowl. <laughs> Words to live by. I was happy for a while until I started playing Blood Bowl. <laughs> Brilliant. Actually, I think I, I think I should say I was happy for a while until I started understanding how to play Blood Bowl. Yeah. When I didn't really know what I was doing, I fucking loved Blood Bowl. Yeah, I think that's I think <laughs> that's a common thing. Yeah playing dark elves in some league where I barely knew what I was doing and no one else knew what they were doing so we were all just like rolling dice having fun drunk and high enjoying our games yeah. not a care in the world <laughs> <laughs> yeah I think that's the thing isn't it as well like that that's a weakness of the online isn't it generally if you if you're in that situation yeah. in real life you, the other people are in the same situation whereas now you're in that situation and you're playing k fog <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I don't think I ever once got frustrated with bad dice playing the tabletop version of it. But I didn't play very often, and I wasn't very good at it. Not that I'm saying I'm very good now, but um, it wasn't until playing repetitive games in leagues against better coaches, like like more committed coaches to the game, and also just CCL grinding and whatnot, that I was like, it broke me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that, I mean, that, I think <laughs> yeah. that is the biggest thing, isn't it? When, when like, you know, because all of us who played Games Workshop generally start with our friends who were also shit. And just, uh, like, yeah. how disheartening is it to just <laughs> be new and play PTK? Absolutely. Uh, and Bezel, you say that, but uh, the amount of times I have had conversations mm -hmm. with people overthinking <clears throat> the weight of the various uh, box set Blood Bowl dice, <laughs> especially in the newest edition, those the green orc ones and the, uh, the blue uh, human ones. I have heard both things from, 
oh, these green orc ones always roll POWs. And there's, there, it's just because of the, the design is cut differently, so it weights it differently, too. <laughs> oh, my God, the human dice only roll POWs because of the cut on the dice. <laughs> Come on, guys. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that to I be mean... fair, yeah. That is the thing with chess dice, isn't it? They're uh, notoriously unbalanced. Like they are just completely unfair. That's 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 why all of the uh you know, Fumble and Blood Bowl 2, all games like that are, have got more random dice than real dice because real dice tend to be weighted shitly. Oh! When I say shitly, I mean not 100% random, isn't it? Hello, kill. <laughs> That's amazing, Eric Beheimer. <laughs> but I would also not enjoy that. I'd be like, use a six sided dice, you dickhead. Does PTK go for the six plus here? Oh, no, it's got to be uphill. No, he doesn't. Oh, he's gone for the surf. He gets the pow. Oh, straight in for the surf one in PTK. Didn't think about it for a second. Yeah, crap dice. That's what I've got. Bezel. Obviously not. Yeah, not block dice, but I've got them for the uh, D sixes. Past tense K fog. Uh, kill. <laughs> As you can see there in the top left. Past tense K fog. Or prime time Kevin. By the way, can you guys hear uh, Skuro? <laughs> Or is it just not here? Let's see that my uh, Oh my god, I muted I muted myself like ten minutes ago. And I've been talking He's not like this is how bad this is how bad it is trying to hold a conversation with you, Jim. Cause <laughs> I literally couldn't tell if I was muted or not while I was talking to you just then. <laughs> Ah, it's gone green on the commentary thing. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I, I was muted, and then I just unmuted yeah, myself. Ah, uh, Jim King. <laughs> ah, hello. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> oh my god, Jim. <laughs> That's not my fault, it's the socket. The socket. No, is no it's my fault, because I muted myself for like <laughs> ten minutes. <laughs> and I've been talking the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> and because of our, because of your limited ability to communicate with other human beings, I couldn't really tell if you could hear me or not. So I didn't think too much of it. So then I unmuted pretty much right as you muted me for some. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I thought maybe I can't hear you because my my headphones in wrong. So I waggled it about a bit, and obviously that well, that waggling um, made you. <laughs> <laughs> disappear <laughs> oh dear well uh looks like we're not gonna get a turn 16 stall here oh maybe there's still time yeah. i mean as far as ball sacking goes k fog's only got the one tackler hasn't he yeah so he's only got a projector from one guy he can still dick around here he can dick around a bit Cage up. That stun means he can just cage right, cage up right here. Actually, I 
can still eat them. You can still eat go anywhere, really. <laughs> I've never said that, Marzen. <laughs> He's going to make a cheer fine now, hasn't he, to make this safe from the tackler? Like, there's one danger guy, and he's just not in his way at all. Um, yep. So, he can, he can cheer fine, though. Oh, no. He's got a dodge. One dodge with dodge, and then a cheer fine. Now it's two GFIs. Qu'est-ce que tu fais, Jim? Ah, oh, rien, je me curais les dents, Bob. Tu te polissais les crocs, quoi. On est diffusé dans tout le vieux monde en cabale vision destinée, rien n'échappe aux spectateurs. Better than going the other way. I don't really know what's happening. He was here, wasn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He could have just been there without making a GFI. Yeah. I think it would have been better to be here. But that might be enough. That should be enough. Mm, all the dice. PTK may just blitz that guy, to be fair. Keep keep in charge. Yeah, that looks like what he's going to be doing. He definitely could have hit the ball there, though. Take some yeah. dice, I guess. Yeah, it'd be a bit dodgy. You'd have a 4 plus with dodge, and then a 2 plus without. Maybe he is going for it. Nah. Oh, he's going to 3 dice this catcher. Okay. That's what he's going to do, isn't he? He's going to three dice this catcher. <laughs> I am unsurprised, Kelsey. <laughs> this, this time. The thing that surprised me the most with Googling was when I was, uh, we were going to a party, fancy dress party, as Street Fighter 2 characters, and Wanger was go wanted to go as Sagat, and I Googled Sagat, and I thought I would have just found the Street Fighter 2 fighting man, and I found out that... Did you get Bob Saget? No, no, I... I, I oh, he's got to re-roll this, hasn't he? That's way too dangerous. Um, what I found was the adult porn star... Well, obviously porn star. The, uh, the male porn star, Francois Sagat, who likes other boys. <laughs> and it wasn't such, wasn't such a nice thing to look at if you don't enjoy them, really. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. He should have made the ball safe first there, shouldn't he? No excuses there, to be honest. That was lazy. Yep. Obviously, he's unlucky that he's rolled two double skulls this drive, but uh, he could have eaten the first one, and he could have caged up before he rolled the second one as well. Uh, funnily enough, both Wanger and I both went as... Uh, Wanger and me and somebody else, all three of us went as Guile. <laughs> We just went as alt costumes of Guile. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> this is a Delph player without all the fun positionals. Yes, why would you have all of the fun positionals? Um, no, we went with the... Uh, <laughs> we, went, we went with the lazy... We, we got wigs, actually, but they were rubbish. So we went with, uh, we got berries and we, we, we went as Mo Van Damme movie, movie guile. <laughs> I'd like to point out that the premise of this story started with Jim talking about going to a fancy dress party. 
So I've got to believe it was like some like black tie affair at someone's wedding or something, and they all showed showed up as like fucking street fighters. <laughs> no, no, it was just uh, it was just uh, someone's birthday. Yeah, only fills and horses. So. Yeah, he had one witch, only one witch. I don't know if the other ones missed next or what. Down goes a catcher. Yep, PTK always going for the guy furthest forward, usually, isn't he? Always, usually. Mostly, he's been picking off the the furthest forward ca character. Just playing yeah, it I mean, safe. Yeah, I mean, well, and these wood elves are really just kind of bunching up on the ball here. It's really allowing him to do that, yeah. um, and they're gonna get themselves into a position where they're gonna have to, you know, they're gonna need two two turns consecutively to score, <laughs> and only <laughs> have four players that are all hemmed in in one corner to do so with. Now they are wood elves, but still. Yeah, they really need to not, uh, this guy to not go stupid, don't they, I think. What's he called? A tree man. They need their tree man to uh, not root. Okay, <laughs> there's a lot wrong with what you started saying there. <laughs> what, did, what did I say? Go stupid. Yeah. Well, I was thinking of, like, really stupid, but it was different. Yeah, 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 I got you. Same difference. <laughs> so now... Just because he was in the way there, not that like he, he you know, right. he really needed to do anything. Just the fact yeah. that if he rooted there, that was a bad place to root. I thought. So now he is going to try and advance, but it yeah. can't really make that safe cage without it being somewhat based. Oh yeah, I think he's got to dodge everyone through. I think he's just got to dodge everyone through and like cage over the side here. I think he's going to make a cage right there, Jim. I think what this it looks is like he's too doing. dangerous. I agree. Maybe he'll make the full Death Star. Maybe. I don't know if we've yet to see a full Death Star in CC. Oh, now he's going through. Yeah, I think I'd go on the sideline with him. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then he could have handed off, right? I think I think he should have been on the sideline, handed off to him, and then just sideline cage it. I think that was the play there. Mm -hmm. To be honest, and obviously you might have to use a reroll, but that's what you've got to do, haven't you? At the end of the day, the alternate is just not making over time <laughs> right now. Les joueurs viennent au soutien de leurs coéquipiers. Oops. <laughs> oh yeah, this one isn't so bad actually. Yeah, this is okay. If he puts two guys up here, this is all right. Mm. Oh, not like that. Mm. <laughs> no, not like that. But I think it would have been alright if this guy had been one in front. I think it would have been alright. I think this is maybe not good. We'll see. We'll see what PTK, if he goes for the balls. But yeah, there's the chain. Does he chain him out to here? And then run around the back and hit him? There's no guard here, you can chain him to there and then get guard. He pushed him in the sidestep there. That's weird, isn't it? I thought he'd have pushed him out here and hit him. Maybe not. I guess it's risky, isn't it? That's risky. PTK is just playing it safe. It was an idea to hit him. I'm not saying it was right to hit him, but he could have. You muted, yeah. by the way, if you're still around. Oh no, you said something. No, no, I'm here. I'm here. I was just watching somewhat intently, so I don't really <laughs> know. Uh... Yeah, my instinct is to take take that take that hit on the ball when you got it, but. Uh... Yeah, yeah, it's definitely not. It's definitely not right or wrong, though. Is it? There's definitely like you know lots yeah. of ways to attack it, and. Absolutely. And if PTK is taking one way, then that's probably the right way. <laughs> he's hitting the edge five. Finally, he's not going to. Uh, he's not going to greed this. <laughs> not with the three reroll advantage in overtime.
Yeah, yeah, it was Blue Bowl 2016. Here's the ball. Auto win for PTK. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, now basing's pretty good now. There's only one reroll left, obviously. He can't outrun this guy now, though. He's the only tackler. So, I wouldn't mind... Uh... Oh, this guy's got sidestep. I was going to say I wouldn't mind putting him on the sideline. But he can't. He can just dodge everyone away, can't he? He can three dice with a tree, and then everyone else can just run away. Somehow. <laughs> Probably. Oh, I'll push him the other way. Away from the ball. Move the ball over here. It's trying to open up a hole to cut to the left there, I guess. No, maybe not. Oh, what is doing? I would have blitzed this guy and dodged him and went over there. Mm, that's what I was thinking, yeah. Because then it gives you the dodge on him. He's got dodge on him. This guy's got dodge, so you could have a screen. And the ball probably in scoring range, screened. He could have made a couple of dodges out. He could have dodged around. He could have dodged through, maybe. And he could be looking good. I don't think he's going to be looking as good. <laughs> no, I think that should have definitely been his blitz. I don't know where his blitz yeah. is now. Maybe the blitz yeah. is with this guy. He comes, blitzes him, and then comes there. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then that gives him the two plus out, which is quite good, actually. And it gets him for, for the forward. So he should have blitzed. He doesn't blitz. <laughs> I think this is definitely wrong now. I think the other one, fair enough, This could have this the blitz could have blitz freed up. His wrestler, but I think he had the blitz there. Huge stuff. Yeah, he's huge, isn't it? Because that's his tackler. Now it makes the uh, potato. But he's kind of got the blitz right because he needs to cut these angles. Yeah. And now he now he can't. Now he's got to go all this way across. He had to get this guy down or something. Oh, so actually, the dodge. Yeah. well, makes the dodge, but he doesn't have dodge now. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. He can only get to here. So he's got to make the dodge. He's got to make the dodge. He's just got to because it'll get him further forward. So if he gets pushed, he's still in range. Nah, he's not. This is really risky now. Because he's only on the limit of scoring. If he yeah. gets pushed back, he's not in range. So he, he really yeah. needs... Wow, he's not doing the GFI. I mean, he should have made the dodge or the GFI. <laughs> it was the same role. Yeah, I think he probably should have done. I'm not certain. One, two, three, four, like five. I mean, at least he's got the catcher. He's got the catcher in range anyway. Yeah. And the and the dancer over there. But, and now this guy. So I mean, they're whatever. They've got everyone in range. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're what else? <laughs> That's nice, isn't it? Getting him all the way around. Oh, yeah. I don't think he should have. Oh, I liked him better. Yeah, no, I liked him going? better. Where's he going? <laughs> He's screening rather than risking the one in nine over there, which is fair. But I quite, I quite liked him here actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he pre he was a m much better at keeping the entire team out of your way. Yeah. I guess he's going to GFI with him. I mean, it makes sense to GFI now to make this a screen. Like, obviously, you don't re-roll it, but I think you would GFI to make that a screen. Run out of time instead. Yep. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know about this. I think K-Folk might find a way to get past. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no tackle, though, so... I mean, it's a super easy 2D, isn't it? Because he yeah. could have had he could have had this wrestler back here. And other things around. I think he had to GFI there to make that screen because otherwise, yeah, as I say, it's too easy for PDK to just get straight. In. I 
guess PTK does re-roll this, right? Yeah, I, I think so. He's got four re-rolls. I think what he probably should have done... Did he mean to do that dodge there? No. <laughs> Doesn't get him. I just think he probably just didn't care that much if he didn't. I think what he should have done was move somebody else in, move this guy in to make their catches harder because they'd be in tackle zones. Because at the moment, I mean, they've got a catch as well, actually. But if they had three tackle zones on him, he'd be harder to catch it. So he's going to move him in there anyway. So I think he probably should have moved him in first to make the catch harder on his scatter. <laughs> <That's all. laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus, <boy>. Pezzo. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a pretty unfortunate blitz by k -Fog there. Wood Elf's pretty likely to score now. Yeah. I mean, no re-roll. Or, well, I mean, now, I guess now they have to re-roll, because... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, f I feel like Lafandia should have played that turn a lot better. He didn't blitz at all, did he? I think he should have absolutely played that turn better. And Correct, uh, yeah. Had more stuff in the way. <laughs> I definitely think there's an element of that, yes, J5. But also, you know, there's a certain amount of complexity to it, isn't there? But I don't think it's as high as it could be. <laughs> J5. <laughs> right, so you just go with the... You score with the really fast guy don't you um so you blitz the guy off him and then hand it hand off to it him off one two three go, four go for five broke. six seven eight nine gfi 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 so you can block this guy as well probably start he could, by chain, he could even change that he could chain that guy too couldn't he yeah. uh maybe not yeah 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 but then if you yeah, wanted to risk the, the yeah if you wanted to risk the three plus catch i mean it's got the free reroll because it's a catcher he could hand it off in the tackle zone and then chain him forward, but I don't know that he really cares that much about the chain. No, no, I think I think you just movement. blitz him with tackle, hope you get him down. Blitz, yeah. block this other guy with tackle, hope you get him down, and then you can just hand off. And if you've knocked him over, then you hand off him two plus, and you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, three GFIs, easy. Just as easy as the rules that you failed in the first half. Come on, not stop, stop messing about. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he could three dice. I guess he could think about. No, he's, he can't three dice because he's got a two dice this guy as well. He's got to cancel assist and bring in an assist. Here. Here we go. Gets the pout. Yep. Oh, if he knocks us, he's blocked his path. <laughs> yeah. He's blocked his path for the better route, which was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, GFI, GFI. Un choix prudent. Bonne transmission, ça joue sans accro. Yeah, he's literally block, blocked his path. <laughs> Yeah, this is max movement uh, now for this guy if he if he goes the easiest way. Yeah, he didn't um, get anything. That, and now he's got a dodge too. Yep, yeah, now he's got a three plus dodge. Yeah, if he just if he just hadn't stood in the way there, yeah, then he would have had a two plus and a two plus and two plus. But I guess now he he got the board down anyway, so he's already a bit screwed getting that. Eh, just make everything you're fine. Easy. Mm. <laughs> no. <laughs> PTK will have a shot at the one turn, won't he? Does he only have move seven, though? That's the question. He's got movement eight. So Lafandia will have to defend against the one turn. I mean, he could do the same thing. He could do the tree and two side steps if he wants to risk them for OT. That's the question, isn't it? Does he? 
Against PTK, probably. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think so. I mean, and also PTK with a two reroll advantage. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would. But then, I guess on the other hand, putting these guys encourages PTK to use a reroll on the one turn attempt, which, if it fails, gives you an advantage going into overtime. Yeah. So I guess. I guess there's something to be said for not trying to stop it, but I think you've got to try and stop it. Movement is too easy. No, it certainly no, it certainly isn't best. I just I meant for being able to score at all if he wins the toss or being able to defend at all. Yeah. I know, I know, Lean Gara. Jim, uh, Jim uh, <laughs> dragged us away. We'll be going to Monday Night Claw directly after uh, this uh, this match ends. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but you know it's PTK, so that's all right, isn't it? Fresh off of his uh, testicle destruction on uh, Sunday night, stand firm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. At least Monday night claw will be on Monday, and, and bezel well, is, allegedly, is gonna be in allegedly. It. We'll see. We'll see how things go. <laughs> Bezel is going to be in it, and it's going to be amazing. Bezel's got quite the entrance. Somehow this match is going to go to kicks, and Jim afterwards will just be shattered. No, no, I'll be oh, right. can't, can't do it. <laughs> this is a horrible setup here, by the way. He's got, he's got, a, he's got his catcher there. This is a horrific setup. Presently, he's got a minute to correct it, but this is absolutely horrendous. Oh my god, PTK gonna win in normal time. He puts him straight there. He's gonna get the blitz him then, get an instant push forward. That's brutal. That's brutal that he gets to put a guy there and just gets to instantly get him forward. Instantly forward one, and then boom, forward a second, and then boom, forward a third. Like, he's just easy, isn't it? That, that's terrible sticking that catcher there. Really terrible. <laughs> yeah, Jane, yeah. Yeah, very clever. Perdu le ballon, quoi. Pas moyen de le retrouver sous tous ces cadavres. Ah, j'avoue, j'ai été de sale humeur. I'd think about what to do on a quick snap as well. Maybe should have set up a bit differently in case of a quick snap. There you go. Because then. If you've got this guy here, then on quick snap you get to go there and block him. Now he's going to have to move the uh, guard out. A mistake by PTK, I think. There, genuinely, I think this guy. If this guy had been on the LOS, he gets to move him diagonally forward on the quick snap. And now he doesn't. He's got a few guards, hasn't he? I guess so. It probably doesn't matter. Yeah, he's got another guard there, so it doesn't, didn't actually matter. But still, in fact, he didn't even need the guards because he could just move this guy there. <laughs> Jim, I just sent you a note on uh, Claw. Yeah, PTK has messed messed this up a little bit because he had that. Yeah, he did. He did mess it up a little bit. But Bob, au fond. Quelle différence y a-t-il entre le bon et le mauvais passeur Ah, je l'attendais celle-là. Je l'attendais. Oh, look, my replay for us. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. It's so annoying. Le bon passeur Le bon passeur Eh ben, c'est le gars, il a un ballon. Il voit un truc qui bouge. Yeah, so he pushes him there. So he needs another guy, doesn't he Another two guys. He needs another two guys in. So does he Pick up handoff to him, who then goes here and passes it, and then he runs in. I think that's the play. Ça y est, il a ramassé le ballon. Apparemment, c'est plus difficile qu'il n'y paraît. Une stratégie à la papa, un peu téléphoné, mais le résultat est là. Don't re-roll. I think. Oh, do you re-roll? Does re-roll? All right. PTK going for gold. This guy yeah. goes in here. Getting caught up now here. Oh, there's the reroll. Okay. 
gets the POW. Which is obviously not ideal, but he can hit the strength 4. To uh, get the extra 1, can't he? But he's got to make a dodge, a hard dodge. That's the bad thing. Why didn't he make the dodge with him? He's got dodge. Oh, the catch is there already! Fuck's sake, the catch is already yeah. there! <gasps> why the fuck Why the fuck did he put the catcher back there? Oh, I don't know. He, the like, made so it so bad. much easier for all of those. Yeah, the catcher there is so fucking bad. And now uh, here you go. Couple threes, a couple twos. Uh, Glory. Just one three. He can, he's still got his blitz, right? So he gets... Oh, no, but he sidestep. Ah, uh, yeah. Me sidestep. I think you still three dice him. Just because you can. <laughs> oh no, you can't because of the uh, tree. It's a shame that he's getting that knockdown on the first one. If he could have kept pushing him, he could have blitzed to score. Whereas now, he can't really blitz to score, can he? Yeah, so it's just 3-3-2, three, three, I think. Yep. Makes those, and the GFIs. Oh! <laughs> oh! Well, turnabout's fair play. That's what happened on the other one turn, and KFO gets it as well. Yeah. And over time we go, folks. So there you go, the payoff for Lavender. He did suck a reroll uh, by not defending the one turn properly. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And, uh, but it looks like K-Folk's gonna win this toss. Does it? Oh, am I ahead of you somehow? <laughs> yeah. Well, PTK's won have... the toss. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, this should be relatively... I mean, obviously, these Wood Elves can do kind of anything they want. But, uh, it should be pretty, relatively clinical by K-Folk. Yeah, he's got the guard. He, he'll, he'll, he'll play it safe, won't he? Um, he's, he's got 10 men. So it's not a huge advantage. But he is a man up. He can spare the guards for the cage corners. And obviously, he can do other good formations if he doesn't need the guards. But with three guards, he can spare two for the cage corners. So he should be all right for the leap. I don't know if he should have used the reroll there. Maybe, maybe because the fact the fact that the catcher was there, may, meaning that he didn't even need to dodge anybody in for the extra hit. Oh man. Yeah, it probably it probably was the right move to use the reroll. Especially if you lose the toss, you're probably not going to use three rerolls on defense before the Wood Elves have scored or you won. So I guess, yeah, I guess you have to reroll there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, there's probably a good chance that he uses the reroll, and there's probably not much chance of him scoring. Man, the quick snap helped him. No, it didn't actually, did it? Because he would have he just blitzed anyway. He didn't even blitz. He didn't even blitz. I think he could have set up to take advantage of the quick snap better, though. Not that you can, you know, really criticise somebody for that in after two hours of Blood Bowl or whatever, but do you know what I mean? I'm sure if PTK was just there thinking about it, he would have come up with a better setup. I'm sure he would have done. But nobody, nobody plays mistake for Eden. I I have questions about K Fog's team name. <laughs> what's a what's a masterable? Yeah, it's a, it's marbles, but he's just no, made it. No, it's not. It's masterables because he's put the S in there. That's a dollar sign. 
Um, yeah. So, dollar sign. I don't know what, what dollar sign sounds like. Is it 34 <laughs> mad dollar sign rubles to lose? <laughs> or do you just not say it? So it's just three, 34 and marbles also, to lose. <laughs> and also, why do why do why does the ass, which is predominantly a European uh, promotion, use the dollar sign <laughs> instead of the euro or British pound sign? Because the dollar sign looks like an S, and that makes it look uh, like an ass. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, but I still uh, have a have a bit of a hesitation to accept that K Fog's team name is not stupid. Yeah, no, it it does look pretty <laughs> shit. <laughs> Miserables. The <laughs> 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 or the uh or the uh oh man i can't say the the one for the euro because it looks like a c oh penis i've just thought i'd use it as it's an e isn't it oh uh, i guess it is more of an e yeah because of euro yeah. looks like a c to me though so <laughs> the c note I, I think i get yeah i can think of a couple four letter words <laughs> oh man you should put them all into one thing <laughs> <laughs> oh, he gets wrestled. Interesting. Interesting wrestle. I'm surprised. I'm surprised at that blitz. Really? It's a bit rubbish, isn't it? You would have thought he would have blitzed uh, a kind of a defenseless guy, but didn't go for that. He's been def yeah. blitzing defenseless guys a lot, and uh, this time he goes for a, a defended guy and gets punished with a wrestle. <laughs> there you go. J5 picking up what I was putting down. Oh, and the tree roots right off the bat. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> oh, do you know what they could? They could have. They could have like made it. Um... He could have made it like that, couldn't he? <laughs> he could have been the pain. <laughs> That'd be pretty good. But no, it came. It started off as ass, didn't it? They they came in the ass, so that was it. <laughs> Oof. So it's kind of tricky now, isn't it? Tricky against elves who can score any turn they want. Uh, Lathandir has got to keep the, the sacking threat. <laughs> Very good, Skuro. He's got to keep the sacking threat, but then he's also got to take down any scoring threats and stuff. It's it's always tricky against elves. That I didn't I didn't know how to do the the euro sign, so I had to copy paste from your post to do. It. That's exactly what I did. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the E urethra. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> Alt F four, you say? <laughs> oh. No, I think Kissiden has a uh, has missed uh, <laughs> has missed the letter as a. <laughs> <laughs> Unless he's from like like uh, the Vatican or something, and he's trying to make a AR joke. That was a Latin joke for everyone. That's brilliant. Oh dear me. Yeah, so we're just gonna go for the safe the safe cage. The screen you know, guard cage corners with a screen in front as well. 
He's just going to make the same blitz again to get his guy away from the tree. Kind of nice, uh, kind of nice for K folk having that uh, the lineman uh, with sure hands there, huh? The blood sure hands yeah. ball carrier being stuck with a runner. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, he's nice, isn't he? Just a just a generic lino. He can always against people without strip. He can carry on the edge five or the movement, whatever. But and he didn't to, have to make the he didn't have to make the call on dedicating him to be a uh, a sure hands until you know two level or three level ups deep. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, yep. I will admit, I've never actually seen a, uh, seen that before. Or really thought of that. I like it. Yeah. No, I don't think I've seen a lino sure hands either. Yeah, maybe Juhanian. That's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah, maybe. Although it doesn't. Uh, did he just recently level up? I wonder. What's he at? Thirty-six. So he had thirty-one. And an MVP. Yeah, he might have just leveled up recently. Mm, I don't. Oh, did he score the touchdown in the first half? No. He didn't, did he? No, I don't know. Oh, he did. Uh, did he? I don't remember. That point yeah, being, yeah, he very easily could have just leveled up right before this game and then gotten three extra SPP. Yeah, he could have done. So we have sent some of some of the chat on a dark quest now. <laughs> and this is long after J5 shut it down for EU <laughs> Look, this could have been it. This could have been. It could have been pennies. <laughs> and then you've got it from everywhere. Then. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Although, in fairness, given how much uh, of the. <laughs> How much of the ass money has gone to, uh, you know, Russian currency? We should probably get the ruble symbol in there, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, he's just going to rely on the guards. I'll call the guards. He's not really trying to get forward, is he? So I think, you know, I think uh, Lethandi has just got to be got to be sensible here. Just try and pick off the guys who run forward like this guy. And keep the... You know, because... <laughs> hold his shape. Because if, if you can't get through, you can't get through, can he? <laughs> like, you know, he can't, he can't maintain this, uh, this guard cage. He can't get through and maintain the guard cage easily. So... He's just got to pick off the threats. Uh, Bezel, the ruble sign is effectively a P, so I'm pretty sure we can make this work. Oh, <laughs> beef. <laughs> this is the uh, Blood Bowl 2 equivalent of the coexist bumper sticker. I've got no idea what that means. Uh, it's a, a popular bumper sticker on hippie cars. And that's uh, me being a hippie saying it. That says coexist, and each of the letters is a uh, different uh, symbol of faith from organized uh, religion. Which I find hilarious because those are the people who least are likely to coexist with other people. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's brilliant, then, isn't it? So yeah, penis. Should be. Well, I think we have. I think we have. Uh, we, we have effectively uh, shut this one down. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> oh god, this is much better. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that you're probably uh, driving. You know, five miles under the speed limit, J5. <laughs> there you go. Uh, that's the one. <laughs> I 
<laughs> All right. Well, we sorted that. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Jim. I don't like letting him away on the two plus again because, like, this is an option for for PTK. Like, you don't want to. Like, it's a pretty easy option, and you've got to hold. You've got to hold hold the line and not let him get through. Like, you know, easily. So you've still got to hold this, but you've still got to keep knocking that guy down all the time. Yep. <laughs> I think after all that, I still prefer EU rethreat. Yeah, yeah, maybe. <laughs> I still like labia as well. <laughs> yeah, the labia is good. <laughs> oh, he's KO'd him. Rihanna is off. No, oh. actually, we're, we're all stupid. We could have done that with almost all of the letters we need with clitoris. Someone else do that because I don't want to have to try and figure out how to do it on my phone. <laughs> Speaking of clitoris, hey, Lemon, how you doing? <laughs> Whenever anyone click mentions clitoris, I just think of the click command on <laughs> <laughs> is it. Is it clitorises or clitori, Jimmy? <laughs> oh, no, do you know the fucking... What was... What, what? Jay and Silent Bob's strike back, wasn't it? F flip yeah. me. That was an amazing scene, that. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I wasn't really a fan of, you know, that sort of thing and uh, the movie. Ratty. But uh, I'll tell you what, that scene I really enjoyed. <laughs> Lemon, very good. So now he's engaging a bit. He's, uh... <laughs> PTK. A little bit. He's still, he's only advancing one square, though. <laughs> oh, he gets, he, he gets, he answers yeah. back with a removal. And he's still keeping guards on the cage corners. Not a problem. Well, unless he gets a push here. Unless he, unless he one D powers this guy. Which you could put in the guard, and then you could 2D power him, and then you could get a 1D on the ball. Yeah. Right, I think this is the play here for Lafandia. Easy. I agree with you entirely. Guard in 2D, go for a power. In fact, you can just push him into him, who can then power him, and then this guy can come in for the hit. So, yeah, this is a 1D on the ball here. It's got to be. Got to be. Got to 1D the ball here. Come on. Nothing to think about. You're not going to get a better chance. Realistically, sad as it is, you ain't gonna get a better chance, are you? Not against entirely, PTK. especially after losing a player there. Yeah. Not gonna help. I mean, PTK's only got three turns left, but you're also down the reroll anyway, so like it's hard. Even if you do just dodge back and have a screen here and blitz this guy or whatever. Oh, here he goes. He's going for it. it means he hasn't got the follow-up block on a push, but. In fact, he hasn't also, he hasn't cancelled this assist, so he needs to put in another guy as well. That was a real bad place to stand. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Can he get the pow? He, he does. does! He does, he fishes for the pow and he gets it. Alright. And, uh, yep. Don't follow up. whatever you do. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> but here comes the leap in. Uh, yeah. He doesn't have. Yeah, he doesn't have wrestle on either of these uh, war dancers. No. And they both. They both got tackle. So. I think you just re-roll the uh, re-roll the skull, don't you? Re-roll the one of the skull. And if you don't power him, you don't power him. But if you power yeah. him, you might be able to do something afterwards. Oh, there's, there's the scope. Does he re-roll it? I think he's gonna. He should, I think. Yeah, I think at this point you'd just lose if you skull here. Yeah, I So agree. you have to re-roll this. He could have made it a bit safer. Oh, he, he gets the pow! He gets the pow. Oh, dirty dingo. Here it comes. Will he get <laughs> the scatter through to his team? Oh, he doesn't want it, doesn't apparently. Try it. Yeah. I mean, that's like the safe. Oh, God, he killed him. <laughs> Good girl, mighty. 
Well, so much for the linemen with sure hands that we both kind of like. Oh, the, the, game, the game trying to give him the right scatter. I mean, do you agree? Do you do you agree with where he where he decided to push him? I feel like he really wanted to go to the square where the ball is now and have it scatter off of there. Yeah, Are I mean, crazy? this had this had more chances, uh, pro probably of a better scatter, didn't it? Um, because these three are kind of good scatters where they're in yeah. one tackle zone, whereas here there's only one good scatter. Uh, but this kind of area is easier to pressure, so I don't know. I think it's six and two I threes. I don't think this is going to be enough, though. No, like, I think the... he needed that ball to scatter up through so he yeah. could get another body on it. Yeah, he probably did. He probably did need to go the other direction and hope for a crazy scatter because it was still wasn't even good getting the 1D. Because <laughs> his ward answer is going to immediately get tackled, mighty blowed. Yeah, I think he probably should have, as Lean Gary says, he should probably should have moved in that dancer last and left with him at the end. I agree. Because this is this is pretty easy. You just push him away, probably power him, and then make a break. And you can make a good break here, can't you? Yep. So maybe he shouldn't have gone in. <laughs> Only three turns left. Like maybe he should have tried to. Uh, mm, no, I think, the, I, I think that was the. I don't know. I think that was the right call. I just. I hate. I, pushing, the right. I hate boop, boop, boop. where he put the guy once he downed him. I think he needed yeah. to put him to the right there, and then had a much better chance at scatters coming through. Yeah. I don't know. I think. I think it still wasn't great. <laughs> <laughs> but I still think I would have gone for it, but I. Oh! But I no no rerolls left. Him. Does he even go for the handoff now? Oh, he'd stack the move. So he oh, has to boy. and makes it. <laughs> Unbelievable, Jack. Should he have been an extra extra square forward? He's not in scoring range, is he? He is not. But he had already used his reroll, so he didn't want to uh, do any GFIing, I guess. <laughs> No, but he could have. He could have planned the turn like he could have blitzed this catcher and stuff, and planned to get cage further up the field. Uh, this is round of thirty-two, Lemon. It's like second round. He can dodge all the way through here, can't he? Without trying. Yeah, base him. Yeah, I like that. So there you go. That's pretty. That's pretty strong, isn't it? It's a pretty strong recovery from PDK. Still not a impossible one uh, D on the ball again, though. No, a pretty easy one D. And the good thing is now the the, the strip is a factor. Yeah, now, now the strip is a factor, isn't it? This is an easy one day. Like, this is the thing, he's got an easy one day on the ball now. Which, okay, the recovery might not be easy, but he's got an easy one day on the ball. With strip. So, at least he, he was very lucky to get the, the removal, of course. But even even just getting the knockdown meant that PTK probably wasn't going to have the ball on the uh, shoe hands anymore. And he was going to get more, easier chances. Now with no rerolls, I don't know if there's any safe moves he can do. He's got to make this block with a wrestle. I guess, yeah, he's going to go there. He's got to make this block with a wrestle. And then, can any of these do anything? Maybe these three guys can do something first. But you probably want this lineman and this catcher to react to it. At least. Yeah, it was it was weird though. It was weird the one day because it was like 
I don't think it was baited, to be honest. But... I think it was weird, because it wasn't that good, was it? But I still think I would have gone for it, and then thought I'd done the wrong thing. I think if it had happened to me, I think I would have gone for it, and then thought afterwards I shouldn't have gone for it. <laughs> I do believe that's what I would have done. You can make this 2D on the ball, actually, right? Because he's got this guy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's not great. It would be better if he pushed him to a better direction, I think. I'm not followed. There, if he'd not followed. There wasn't a better direction. He, no, he should have not followed, sorry. Not followed. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That would have been so much better if he hadn't followed. Because if he doesn't follow, then he goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, GFI, GFI, and then he gets the 2D. Yeah. I think you move the other guys first. But maybe not the catcher. Or maybe the catcher. Maybe you move the catcher first for the assist. I think you probably do, you know. Because then you're basing the ball with blodge step. So you can still come through with a catcher, you can just make a 3 plus, 2 plus, at some point. Or does he even need to? He doesn't even need to, he's got 3 GFIs with sure feet. Mm. Oh, he's got guard as well, yeah. 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 He's got guard as well. Nice. Right. Why is he there? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. He <laughs> He's made the leap. Yeah. He's got the pow. He does. Tackle. Gets him down. Does he sidestep here for more, more guys? Yep. Ball next to the tree. <laughs> <laughs> And no one left to react for the Wood Elves. No, that was the that was the bad thing, wasn't it? I, like this guy was in the way and stuff. And yeah. if that follow up hadn't happened, you'd have had this guy back, and he could have uh, picked it up and passed it. It's just. But um, the Elves do have, or the uh, Kfog. <laughs> Kfog does have a pretty. <laughs> A pretty good positional advantage if he can get the ball. <laughs> yeah, he's got the edge five. Oh, is he going to scatter it? No, he's got sidestep. Oh, that was terrible, wasn't it? That was yeah, literally terrible from very PT. Very bad. That was literally terrible. Very uncharacteristic mistake, unless he was trying to get 3D with tackle. I don't know. Now he gets him on the second, uh, second hit. I, th I would have thought the play would have been uh, blitzing this lineman. I think he should have blitzed this lineman and then just got H5, passed it to him. How's the word answer? He's got this blitzer, hasn't he? This blitzer could have blitzed him. It does, yes, see, Shanky. I guess he's just going to pick it up on a 3 plus then here. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Pass it. Very sunny. <laughs> 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Hand off. Nope. Rolls one. Re rolls it. Last re roll in here. Rolls on Doesn't one. get it. Snakes it. Oh, it go man. Oh, oh, no. Okay. Well, it's in a. It's in a hell of a lot of tackle zones. Yeah, but the the woodies can get a scatter, can't they? Sure they can. can. <laughs> they can just instantly scatter it. <laughs> yeah, they can just instantly smash him with a tree. And there's that lineman completely just hanging out there. Ooh, this could be it for cave folk. It could be, yeah. Yeah, two One linemen free. scatter away. Dancer. Blodger. <laughs> P 
Benny Hill music. No oh, man. I think you just two D with a tree, don't you? Like it's not great. It's obviously not great. The one in nine chance of failure is not great. But the fact that he's got a tackle on your on your dancer and everything, you want you want to just push him there and see what happens. Yep. Oh, look oh at that. Oh my god, god look tier. At that. Now, Absolute the question is tier. I think it's it's probably better to do the 3 plus. Yeah, probably. Than hitting the sidestepper, right? Probably cuz he's got tackle on on your uh, dancer anyway. Like if the if the dancer was free to like just run around, probably better to hit him with the tackle yeah. there first, but I as think it is. Yeah, I three, think you go four, for that. Five, six, seven, hand off. This is such a good spot, isn't it? This is yeah. in such a good spot. You can pick it up and hand off, and you're, you've won. Yep, there it is. He's got it. He gets away. The handoff. And. Oh, rip K man. Rip K <laughs> Did he GFI wow. then? Or was he just in range? <laughs> I think he was in range. Yeah, he must have been. <laughs> it just looked like there was a yeah, GFI yeah, there, didn't it? Squares away. Wow. <laughs> wow. Rough stuff. Rough stuff to end that for K folk. Tree getting the level up there. <laughs> Classic MVP tree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was that was. So in the end, that one D did win it for him because then it got it. It got the game stretched, yeah. didn't it? So. Absolutely. I think I would have gone for it and immediately regretted going for it. <laughs> <laughs> you would have second guessed it eight times. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I mean, I guess that's one. I guess this is a good game to look back and think. You know how would it? How should it have been played? Because um, I'm not. You know, that's one where I think whichever way you played it, you'd think oh, I should have just gone for the other way. You know. Right. So. Um, well, yeah, the show hands line, oh, he doesn't care about him, does he? Because he's lost anyway. The whole team's dead. <laughs> the whole team's dead now. Oh, sorry, k -Fug. Rough yeah. game. Rough, rough ending for you there. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, k -Fug. But they, that's L's, isn't it? You know, they're always going to they're always gonna have to roll some twos and stuff. Like, that's, that's what I hate about them, honestly. Like, it doesn't really matter what happens in the game. <laughs> <laughs> like it doesn't matter whether you're good or bad. Like a lot of the time, they're gonna they're gonna roll some dice, and if they get them, they get them, don't they? Well, that's uh, 24 <laughs> hours with two separate uh, cock and ball tortures for <laughs> okay. Yesterday right. on the uh, delayed Friday stand firm, and now this. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Congratulations to. Uh, La 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 we whatever it was. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Congratulations to the Wood Elves. Commiserations to K Fog. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Stay fantastic. Thank you very much, Gorilla Metal. Cheers. <laughs>